it's got just a little cup there that we'll use since we lifted that thing out a little bit. So I, I just wanna, I just wanna close that thing up like a taco. Cause my goal is to make it fold up and break. So you can see it there. So I'm just gonna squeeze it again on the corner because like I said, my goal is to squeeze it to where it eventually just snaps. And usually you can squeeze it and open it up. Now I'm gonna open it up. So now I'm just gonna flatten it back out and see it pop right there. So that's what we want. And see, I was able to pop that with one squeeze and then open it up one time and it came, it's, it's, it's coming off of there. So you see that guys, that's, that's what you wanna do. You wanna break that thing. So all you're doing is just squeezing it in half. You see that? You're squeezing it in half. And then when you squeeze it, it's gonna break. And that's gonna keep you from breaking off your little plastic nipple there. And after you do that, continue to get the rest of them off, then you'll replace it with a new one by just pressing another one down on there. And voila, everything is back like it's supposed to be. And like I said, you may not get get uh, everyone off perfectly, but at the end of the day, your goal is to be, as I say, you want to win more than you lose. And when you do that, you're still a winner. So guys, I'm going to get at these other pieces here. Once I get this thing off, then we'll be ready for action. We'll jump in here and wrap this thing and, and, and lay it out. So give me a quick second and we'll go ahead and get these other pieces off. Like I said, this is what we do. Let's see. I'm gonna try to move the camera down for you over here on YouTube. See if we can get a better angle. was to already have these off but I had a zoom call I had to get on right before Guys, this is just one of those things that you want to take your time with. You don't want to rush it. Got that one off. Once you get your tools laid out, everything just starts to flow kind of easily. But I'm just lifting up these edges just enough to where I can scoop it with my little pliers here. Uh -oh. So once you squeeze that thing about one or two times, it just snaps. So then you're able to take it right off of there. Oh yeah, that's good. Thank you, honey. That's perfect. So we got your YouTube. There. We're going we're gonna to get you guys going again. All right. Got 20%, but it's not going to take us long to get this done. So now that I got that, that light popped right out of there. You see that? Light popped right out of there. So we'll sit it over to the side. Now, like I said, we got a couple. We got about seven over here we're going to do real quick. And then we'll get to the fun part, which is wrapping. And I always wanted to be a rapper. I guess I, I guess I finally did. So, not that kind of rapper, but yeah, I'm rapping stuff. So, guys, I want you to hit that like button for me. What it does, it lets the uh, algorithm 
know that we're showing some good content here and that's the main reason why we like that so if you guys like the stuff that i'm showing you here and you want to see more be sure to hit that like button that way they'll show the videos to more people and as we get more people following us then we can uh make sure we can get feedback on what people like to see and if you guys like to see certain things let me know because as i come across these vehicles i'll definitely put something up on that so i will be dropping a a video or an ebook on a maserati that we did the other day i went ahead and and, and uh, filmed or basically took pictures of everything it takes to get one of those done so if you guys have a maserati or you're thinking about doing a maserati then i'm going to show you what it takes to get that done because you don't want to get stuck in a job like that and you don't know what you're doing in case you guys don't know just right off a maserati uh coupe you got to take out the whole back seat and everything all the panels just to do that headliner board so especially if you're doing pillars you got to take everything out so that information will be very valuable i, I believe to a, to a lot of people out there that, that do this type of work i've done quite a few of those and This was giving me a little bit of problem, but we're gonna win. We're gonna win. Just tilt it up a little bit more there, so I can squeeze it. There we go. Once we open it up, she should she should break. There we go. So like I said, guys, these little clips, you squeeze them like a taco. And they'll break in they'll break on the edge there every time so now we got one two three four five more to do and we'll have this off and then we'll start we'll start our wrapping hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend you guys that have put in order for black suede we should have all the suede out those two big rolls we had they took a beating so we got about 30 yards left so if you guys are trying to put in an order for the black suede please do i got more on the way and we're happy to definitely get you what you need This one, I gotta squeeze it twice. There we go. That one broke, split in half. So I think we're having a car show out here on the 19th. I don't know if you if you guys are, are trying to attend that or not, but uh, I'll be going out to that is, is my plan. So if you guys show up to that, or if you got a car that's gonna be out in the show, let me know. I definitely swing by and check it out. more of these bad boys left and this grill piece will be coming right out
counting down. We got two more left, guys. Like I said, I like to use a little small screwdriver, flathead, just so I can scoop under there. Once I got the little ends flared up just a little bit, then I squeeze it. Give it a nice good squeeze. And it works just as well with these, even these type of pliers, just a little cheap pliers. You can get it done. A little harder to grab it, but uh, it will work too make sure it's all folded up so even though I like my little pliers these these regular pliers will get the job done as well you can see it right there just broke that one and there it is so now that we got all of our pieces pull it off of there and now this grill comes right out of there that's beautiful all right so now I'm going to sit these over to the side so I don't get any overspray on it. And now I got my panel here. And of course I got my beautiful sway. Now like I said, we're going to use foam back today. So we got nice, nice foam on this thing. Definitely a stretch sway. You'll see that stretch. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It makes it where anybody can do this type of work. You know, it just lays out. You don't have any problems. So, I don't need much for this piece here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut me off a nice little, nice little piece. That way I can get the rest of the extra out of the way. Make sure I got enough to wrap my edges. All right. Then I do what I always do on any type of project. I fold it halfway back. So that way, when I start in on my process, I can control what I'm doing on one side. And on top of that, even though I got half of this thing laid out, I'm not gonna spray the whole half. I'm only gonna spray a small section so I can start controlling what I'm doing. Exactly. I'm gonna hit a couple waves on you guys here. Let you know I appreciate you coming on in. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. All right. They ship all the way to Cali. Indeed we do. Appreciate you, Pamela. Let them know. We definitely ship all the way. We going our way to Canada. I'll ship some stuff out to uh, Australia. Over there to Israel. We don't discriminate. We ship everywhere. So you guys, we're going to get started here spraying. Now this may seem a little loud. Did they say something on uh, YouTube? Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh, she's Yeah. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right, guys. It may be a little loud at first, but bear with me. I'm going to shoot this thing, get a little bit down. I like to put a little a little coat down at first just so because it's gonna soak up a little bit on this carpet here once I let that part tack up just a little bit I'll hit it again then I'll hit my material then I'll come back and hit it one more time 
that way I know I got a nice amount of glue down there to give me a good tight bun and nothing's gonna make this thing peel off. It love this glue right here, it loves the heat. So the more heat it got, the stronger it's gonna bun. It just turns to a to a sticky clay when when the heat gets on it. So you guys, if you need some of this glue, of course this is the dat well wood that we're spraying out of here. You don't have to thin it out or anything. You just pour it in your canister and start shooting right away. Says, did my headline of watching your YouTube videos. Indeed, well, we sure appreciate you for, for checking us out, and we hope for sure that it helped in any process that you guys got going on. So, you guys come on in here and check out more of what we got to show you. I'm sure there's uh, things you guys want to do to your vehicles, and by watching us, you definitely can get it done. So, guys, you can kind of see the work time that we uh, have to work with. And look how that just lays in there. It's beautiful. And you and what you do is you just stretch it just a little bit to help you get get your position and pull you pull it down to the edges. That's what you want to do. And I always say wrap those edges real good. It just pours in there like butter. There's nothing like this stuff. You, you guys got to understand it's nothing like this stuff. You pretty much you pretty much don't have to know that much about upholstering to really work with this stuff. It's just that easy. All you do is rub on it. Yeah, just rub on it. And it goes right in place. Look at that. Look at that. It hit that curve so good. It hit that curve so good. You just you just don't see anything like this, this material here. It's the best. I wouldn't keep telling you about it if it wasn't the best. I only use the best. And when I can't get the best, I make the best. So I'm telling you guys, get you some of this black suede and see for yourself, you know what I'm saying? For you guys that are on my channel, always know you can put in your code Instagram10 for Instagram, and we got YouTube10 for you YouTube guys. Anything on our website, you definitely can use the code and get you a discount. So you guys, don't forget that. If you do forget it, come back and see my video so you can check it out again. All right, so this is our base. We've already laid the base now. Now we can kind of get down because now we know our material's not gonna move on us. That's one of the reasons why I spray a little bit. We know the material's not gonna shift or move. We got everything locked in place. Now we can go ahead and get down. So I got this another little piece here. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this other little section. Appreciate you, Pam. All right. I'm going to tell you guys, you want to be able to put you down enough glue so that way you don't have any problems. Oh, uh, we lost connection over here. Let's see if we can get you back. I think I got you back. Apologize for that. We lost connection there for a quick sec. So now what I'm doing is just pulling this thing down 
hitting these corners and edges real good. And see here, everything's not gonna always come out perfect. See, we got a little wrinkle there, but I'll tell you what, we're gonna pull that right out of there. Just pull and rub it down. We're gonna pull and rub that down. Look at that, just rub on it. It goes right away. No problem there, see that? Come right out of there. So you have a little work time. You just gotta know what type of time frame you're dealing with. And me, I know I like to talk. So if this thing will allow me to talk and rub it, I know you guys can work with it. So this is coming out beautiful. And again, like I said, doing this for a friend of mine, his name uh, handle is on the way to the top on Instagram. You guys check out his channel. Uh, he may be posting his car up there and everything. But guys, this thing's gonna be, it's gonna come out nice. And I have all the rest of the pieces that we have worked on. We got two more pillars to do and that'll be a wrap for, for his uh, all his trim pieces. So now, just real quick, that was almost half of the unit here. Now we're gonna try to jump in and hit this other half. And you can see what type of bond this glue got. You pull on it, that joke ain't going nowhere. Look at that. Look at that, it ain't going nowhere. It'll pull the foam off before it, it uh, it'll pull the foam off before it gives away. So guys, just that quick, it's dry. It's ready to rock. It's ready to be installed. You ain't got to sit it for a day and come back tomorrow just because just you want to let it dry. It's ready to go. You just got to be ready to go. All right. Yeah, the, the name of this glue is called Dap Wellwood. Dap Wellwood Contact Adhesive. We sell it in the one gallon and the five gallons. But there's no more five gallons available currently. But stay tuned to my website. As soon as I get more, I'll be uploading those or I'll be putting the quantities back up. But I do got the one gallons. I like to make sure that I do a good job each and every time I do a job. So I spray it a little heavy. Just depends on what I'm working with. Uh, but since this is foam back, you definitely can spray a little heavy. And you see, I'm just gonna pull that, stretch that out just a little bit and give it a good rub. Look at that. It's going on nice and beautiful. Then we come over here and you wanna give it a here and you want to give it another 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 little tug just so it works with you
works with you as you work with it. I don't need that much. You just need a little bit to work with. So I'll, I'll look into that. All right. Like I said, guys, we got this thing stretching out real good. And you want to make sure you put enough glue. You see right there, I got plenty of glue there, but I don't have enough there. This is a contact adhesive, which means that you need to put it on both sides. So when you touch it together, then it holds contact. That's it, guys. Let me hit it again. together on it for sure for sure look at here this thing is gonna be beautiful he also says thank you and good job man keep up the good work all right thank you guys let me know what you guys are working on down in the comments so that way i know what cars everybody got and what things that uh you guys may want to see in the future i know we're gonna have a suburban coming up pretty soon here and uh my suburban I'm gonna take the whole insides apart and uh, wrap and paint, switch out. We're gonna beg you to do a color change on the whole Suburban. I got a 99 Suburban that used to be a little, used to be pretty live back in the day. And uh, I'm gonna revive it and make it come back alive again. Someone it's, has a 95 two-door Yukon. All right, 95 two-door Yukon, man, those are beautiful. And uh, you don't see that many of those, so that's a rare item, you guys. You gotta respect that. I love that car. All right, guys, so one of the things I like to do is make sure my edges are all the way flush and wrapped down to the end. So now we got this thing, we got this thing looking beautiful. You guys can see it. Look at the definition in that. You can see it. Nice curves, everything. We're gonna cut these speaker grills out. And when this thing is finished, man, believe me, it's gonna look like something. It's already transforming. So now I'm gonna flip these little pieces over here because I don't wanna get anything on my black suede. That way I can turn this thing upside down and we can wrap these edges, trim it, and make everything look beautiful. Yeah, look at that. That thing's gonna be nice. And see, you can already see where you're gonna cut all your holes. So see, it's no guesswork. You ain't gotta do it from the top. I've done it from the top because I can feel around and know what I'm doing. But for you guys that need to see what it is that you're cutting and you don't overcut, my my rule of thumb is I always start and, 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 and cut it to where you can put your finger at the edge. So you basically just use your fingertip width and you cut that far away from the edge. That way you don't overcut the hole. Because sometimes this thing might, you may have it stretched a little too far and it may, you may cut it and it may stretch back. Give yourself a little room. That's a little tip there. Give yourself a little room. Just cut it, cut it out real nice there. And then if you always can cut, you always it's always best to cut less, you know what I'm saying? Then cut more. So that way you can bounce back from a mistake. So in here where the light is, you want to be able to cut that out, cut your grill piece out and cut the two little hole pieces. Now, the part where your little uh, pegs will go, we're going to use 
uh, one of our poke tools for that. And that way we know we'll have it looking nice. So I'm gonna get ready to wrap these edges and then I'm gonna be able to show you guys the final product here in a quick set. Kev, the Pyrex Profit said, I love this product, man. You're doing a great job teaching. All right, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you, Red. Thank you for joining. Kev. You got who, Kev? Uh-huh. All right, Kev, appreciate you. You guys, I really appreciate you guys for watching my channel because it shows me that we're doing great things here. And that means we're going to do a lot more of it. So that's why I say, let me go know what you guys, cars you have. Because when I see those cars, I know it's personal to you. And it makes me want to show you what can be done with your vehicle. It's all about inspiration. You know, me, myself, I love cars. I'd love to have all of them. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I'm limited on what I can have. You know what I'm saying? But I do got a nice collection. You know, I've gotten to a point one time I had so many cars. I had forgot I had about two of them. You know, I had like 20 some cars. I, 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 and then I looked, I looked and started counting. I said, oh man, I forgot about these other two. Nothing wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? But I had to scale back. But my goal now is to have seven old school, one for each day of the week. So now I got my seven cars and I'll be definitely working on them and showing you guys what I got and, and how it's going down. So you just stay tuned, you know what I'm saying? And, and we're gonna get into it. TNYC gave you them horns. All right, I appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. JD Mello says you're the best. All right, I appreciate it, man. One thing about it, I just tried to, to be able to show you guys what's possible. All right, I'm going to get into it. Right there should con should conclude as much of the blowing or uh gluing that we need i may have to hit another little piece in here where the light is but maybe not but now i'm going to use my razor blades but uh xj Melo says he will be purchasing the suede and sending his parts from ma to you all right i appreciate it man and we'll definitely get you done this is what we do, and uh, we'll be on the lookout for those parts coming in. Hopefully, we can shoot another video at that time when that when that when they come in. I know in our last session, where that we did with the with the uh, suede uh, flag, we already have the black one in the works. So next week. I'll be dropping off the material for the lady to make that black and white one. So you guys be on the lookout for that. charged up here on that phone. He's running a little low on battery juice. But as you guys can see, we just wrap those edges and then cut them about a finger width from the edge. That's what we do. And I basically am just pulling this material real tight and that's gonna do two things. One, it's gonna make sure if you had any wrinkles on the backside, it's pulling those wrinkles out to make it nice and flush and, and smooth. So you wanna make sure that you do that. most cases you have a good amount of work time but if you see that you fold it over and it just doesn't quite stick then you might have to hit it with some more glue real quick just to make sure you got a nice bun but uh 
I think in this case, we should be able to wrap this whole thing and be just fine. So we're gonna, we're gonna work at it. If I need to add some more glue, I will. But for the most part, we just about got it licked. <laughs> be rich. Get your oh, boy down yeah. there. <laughs> What's up, man? Working hard. Perfect work as usual. Indeed, man. Be rich. I'm ready to see that rest of that project you got going on, man. I know that's going to be awesome. So, see, I had a little wrinkle on this back side here, but I'm able to pull it out and then tack it right down. And as I feel, as I rub and I feel, I can know if my job got a wrinkle on the other side. But, man, it's smooth as a baby's butt. So I know we're good. Yes. This is coming out awesome, guys. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's coming together real nice. All right. There it is, guys. There it is. Whoo! All trimmed up. All trimmed up. Looking real nice. Now we're gonna cut these holes real quick, pop these screens in, and then we'll be cheesing. I'm already cheesing, but you know, hey. There it is. There it is, looking real nice. Looking real nice and beautiful. It hit those curves like it wasn't no problem. All right, guys, so now I like to rub in there and make sure it's all situated around the corners. You see how it's outlining that little hole there? Just make it outline that little hole there. That way you know it's all glued to the edge there, you know? Then when you flip it over, you can jump in here and make your incisions. Like I said, I'm not gonna cut it all the way flush just in case we, need, we have a little bit that needs to stretch back. But as I'm making my little hole, I'll leave a little extra and I'll show you what I mean. You see that, guys? That's about what you want to use. Appreciate the thumbs up, man. You guys keep hitting that like button to let people know that you like what we got going on here. If you look there, you can see how much space we want to leave for the cutout. You see that? That's what we want. That's what we want. Now, I'm going to do that for all the other pieces, and then we'll insert those things, and you guys can see the finished product. I'm not going to try to hear this person's name, but uh, someone says beautiful. All right. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Thanks for letting us know we're doing great things here. All right, so now we got all our scrap and stuff out of the way, all the holes are cut. Now, we just need to poke the holes for the uh, little pegs to come through, and then we are a wrap. I'm gonna flip this thing over and show you guys what a beautiful job we have here. Hope my guy uh, on the way to the top, Jermaine, 
I hope you're watching and you're excited as I am. I appreciate you guys for coming and checking us out. We're not done yet. Stay tuned. I'm going to keep it coming. We're going to wrap this thing and show you guys how the finished product is. So now, let me get my little flathead screwdriver because I'm going to poke it with this. I got another little poke tool. Let me grab that real quick because I really want to use that. This one will work. So you guys, I got one of these, but it's actually straight. I got one of these, it's actually straight. Uh, thought it was in that bucket, but it's not. But anyway, this one will work just fine. And we'll use that and we'll poke those holes right there. So let me show you what we're doing. So we just take it and I'm holding the material on the backside and we're just gonna poke it through. Is there any particular reason why you're poking from the back? Well. One, so I can see the hole. That's the first thing. And I want to show you guys, in case you're not experienced enough to know where it is on the front, it's best to do it from the back side so that way you know for sure. All you have to do is use your fingers on the back side and you just poke in between your fingers like this. And I'm going to use a flat head because this one right here, it's not long enough for me to, it's too wide for me to hit it. It's too wide right there so i am going to use my little flat head this will work just fine it's small and skinny enough so if you look here guys you're going to be able to see your hole and you're going to be able to poke it right through there real nice and easy just go in there pop it through just like that show you guys down here Just, you just take it, push it through, just like that. Very nice and easy. These are already done. Flip it on this side. Poke it through just like that, guys. So all our holes are poked through, just like that, poked through. So now, let's put all our accessories back in. All our little clips and stuff just, they'll pop right down in there just like that. Okay, that actually goes this way. the rear light right there honey all right guys i'm gonna pop this little rear light in real quick precision auto trim says pay attention everybody it's not every day that you get quality video instructions on how to do a poster indeed we're giving up a little bit of game here but i want to tell you guys i enjoy doing it one thing about it Somebody should always show the next person how to do something. Each one teach one. You guys get in here and get inspired. Work on some of your own stuff and uh, see how fun it is. This ain't work. You know what I'm saying? I'm just hanging out with you guys. I ain't working. I don't never come to work. I come up here to play. So you guys hanging out with me, we're enjoying ourselves. We ain't, we're not working every day. We just ain't doing what we love, you know what I'm saying? This ain't work. 
we having fun. We having fun. So look at that. This stuff is coming in together looking beautiful. I could rub on this thing all day. But one thing about it, this belongs to a friend of mine on the way to the top. So I want to make sure he gets his little project. Did we lose him there? Mm-hmm. We did. Sorry about that, guys. Don, they back on. Okay. All right. Thought I lost you guys there for a quick second. Maybe I gotta redo it. If you guys are on the uh, YouTube, if we're still on, drop something in the, in the uh, comments. Let me know if we're still there. They can't see. They can't see. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and go ahead and take it off and redo it for me. All right, guys, we're going to try to redo it real quick. You have to pause it or something and then start it over. Hit the X up there. Yeah, because we want to see the finished product for sure, for sure. Got a couple more little slots I'm going to cut here. And they're just mountain tabs. It'll be here on the side. We're going to put a nice little slit. That way we don't leave no stones unturned. There we go. And this is what we got, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Looking beautiful, looking beautiful. Nice black suede. Very nice. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. This is what we do. We got all the pieces I'm gonna show you here. Remember in our other live we we did we did one of these right here. That's the other pillar. I knocked out these right here. Another part of his back trim. This is it's going to rear rear trim pieces here. We got his other pillars here. Yeah, so it's all coming together, guys. It's what we do. It's what we do. You can see it? Okay. Let me hold it. Oh, you got it. So look, guys, this is what we got here. We got the rear deck. Came out beautiful. Nice and beautiful here. Yeah. This one here came out. This is all the other. Uh oh. Did I lose them? like I lost something. Okay, there we go. So here it is, guys. These are other little pillar pieces. We still got two more pieces to do. 
and we'll have it all a wrap. Yeah. So we got it going on. So this is this is YouTube and meeting Instagram. <laughs> but yeah, guys, really appreciate you for watching us. I'm excited. I'm excited every time we do a car. This is the uh, pillar here. All the pieces. <laughs> My bad, honey. I got you in the video. Got you in the video. Yeah. So, guys, I'm excited. I really appreciate you guys for watching us. And the uh, only thing left to do on this panel, you know, like I mentioned, is these little baby clips. These are the little baby clips here. And I need to get a size bigger than this. I got another bag somewhere here. I'm going to have to locate it. And uh, we'll get those put on. But worst case scenario, I'll just go order me another one on Monday. We'll slap the clips on. And then these things won't move at all. Now, for for people that can't get a hold of the clips or you're looking to try to find the clips, you know, you just can't find them, another solution is 5-Mini Epoxy or you can use a hot melt glue gun that's another alternative so just wanted to hit you guys with that really appreciate you guys for joining in watching seeing what we're doing here beautiful day precision auto trim says looking good all right appreciate your precision auto trim yeah and one of the things that i'm working on for the future is that I'm gonna have me a map posted. Everybody that does upholstery all over the world, I wanna be able to link you to whoever's in your area. So if you guys got a shop, always drop me a, a, a email or a message. I'm paying attention to who, do, who does good work. I come and check out your channels as you come check out my channel. So, and people ask me, hey, who do you recommend in this area? If I see good work, I recognize good work. So I definitely turn you guys on. I'm gonna tell you, some good guys over in New York, uh, Starlight, uh, uh, the, the good guys over in, in uh, Starlighting NYC, those guys are doing great work. And, and the name of their link, their uh, deal is Luxury Starlighting underscore NYC. Check those guys out, man. They're doing phenomenal work. Uh, I don't plug people just all the time, but I will say those guys are definitely putting in some great work over there. They do an array of stuff, but their headliner game is definitely on point. Uh, they buy a lot of sway from us, uh, but just the work itself and the way that they position themselves in the market, I really like what they're doing. So as there's other people out here doing great work, but you guys let me know if you got a shop, if you're interested in getting wholesale pricing, I'm always here for you. Appreciate it. I don't have my glasses on, but I see somebody there say very nice, and I really appreciate you. Don't have my glasses on, so I can't read it. But I see that. Thank you. Appreciate it. But yeah, you guys, you got a shop? Hit me up, because I definitely will definitely put you on my little map. People asking for uh, work that you know in your area, and you guys are wanting to be uh, mentioned. I don't mind turning people on. I do check out your page, make sure that you're doing quality work. And uh, so send me pics. I love to see it. All this stuff right here is, is like car porn to me. So send me your pics. I enjoy seeing it. Uh, everybody's got to start somewhere. I wasn't always doing great work like this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But uh, I just happened to get to a, a uh, position where this is this is fun. So, I love rubbing on it and everything. So, appreciate you guys. Thank you for joining me. I'm, I'm going to jump off here. And uh, really appreciate you again. Hit the like button. Like I said, it helps out the YouTube channel. It tells it tells uh, Instagram and it tells uh, all the platforms who's doing great work. That's what it's all about. All the comments that you guys do, that also helps and tells them that we are engaged and you guys are liking what we're putting out. That we're not just putting out fluff. I mean, this stuff right here is what I like to do. So, I like to show it. I like to do it. I like to teach it. 
I don't mind showing people good game. So appreciate you guys for coming in here. I'm going to go ahead and jump off. You guys have a great evening. It's Headliner Magic, and this is what we do. All right. All right, guys. Appreciate you guys. I'm going to hit a couple waves on you guys. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you coming on in here. Now, I don't know if I got to show you. Let me just show you guys real quick the work. I don't want to leave nobody out. I want everybody to be able to see. But this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. It's coming out real nice. Coming out real nice. Let me unplug the charger here so I can really get you in here. Coming out real good. These edges, it's just, it's just easy to hit those edges. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. All right, guys. I appreciate all the love you guys been showing me. Everybody on here, Sanchez underscore. Don't have my glasses, so don't get me wrong, but it's 308. Join. Appreciate you guys. Precision Auto Trims. Appreciate you. Thank you. BB.